Now we're going to complete the left view of this drawing where we've gone and cut this down on that cutting plane in the first part of the video. We're going to now have a look at finding that left view which we're looking at from this direction. So we're going to start off by going and drawing our left view which of course is just going to look like a rectangle. We'll draw our left view uncut. And then we're going to go and cut it. So we'll project the middle circle as well as the outside circle onto our 45 degree line and then up. And we're going to leave our left view just like that in construction. Okay. And then once we've done that, we're also going to take each of the points which we've now constructed and project those across as well. And then up. Okay, now to make sure that you don't get too confused with all the lines, we are going to have to label. So the corners over here, of course, are the four corners of the, of the original outside cylinder. And we can see clearly there that's point four, that that over there is going to be line four. And then that's point ten, that this is going to be line ten. And then if we take all the others, remembering that we're looking from the left, we're of course going to see point 11 and then point 9. Okay, so we're going to go 11 and then 9. So we go up like that. This will be 11, 9. And this over here, of course, is also 11, 9. Now, next one will be 12, 8. As we go around, 12, 8. Our center point is 1, 7. Then this point is 2,6. And then we've got 3,5. Just make sure that you hit the right line for that. 3,5. Okay. And remember, I'm just making these dots so that you can see my points. Please don't make dots when you draw it. Okay. Now that that's complete, now what we're going to do is, is we're going to go and we're going to go and take all of our cutting points across into this left view. But again, as what we did with the first one, we're first going to go and cut the main one or the outside circle and then the inside circle, which is the hole. So we're going to cut the outside and then the inside. So just looking at the outside, we clearly see that, of course, our first cutting point is right at the top over there. And that was this cutting point over here, sorry, over here, that point 5 over there. So if we take that cutting point across and then up, following that cutting point right until it hits at the top, because that's where it came from over there, then that over there is going to be our first cutting point. And I'm just going to give that a label and call it called point A. And then the second one is over here. Okay, which just so happens to be on the same line and that cutting point over there is going to be my point B. Okay, so I've got those two cutting points in. That's from the first one. And then as I go down, my next cutting point is over here on line 9 and 5. I project that across. I've just got to go and find there's a line 9 and that over there is line 5. Okay, there's line 9, there's line 5. And then our next cutting point is slap bang in the middle over there, and that's on line 10 and line 4. So if I take this across, there's my line 4, so I'm going to mark that. There's my line 10, so I can mark that one. And then my next cutting point over here, take that across, that's on line 11 and 3. So I'm going to take that across, and there's a line 3, so I'm going to mark that off. And if I go across here, there's an 11, so I'm going to link that up. 
And then the last one is on the base there. So again, I have to go into my top view and bring it across and up to get it over here. And of course, it's on the base. So if I go across and up, that just so happens to be on that same point there. So I know that that's going to be my next cutting point. And then, of course, the last one is also directly on that point in the base. So that will be the last cutting point over there. And then again, as what I did with the top view, I am going to play dot to dot. And if with this part over here, you would use your French curve. I'm just going to do a quick freehand, but you would use your French curve to join these points up to indicate that curve. And then the same thing over there. And the same thing on the side over here. You'd use your French curve for this. It would look a lot better than what I've got. And then we join the top points as well. Okay, so that then shows you the cut, the full cutting plane of your of your outside cylinder. And we can also go and draw in what's left. When we look from the left hand side, we're still going to see this circular part of our cylinder in the front view and because of that we're going to see a dark line going down over here and on the side over here and then on the base we can't see those curved parts on those two corners there anymore that's on 4 and 10 because you can see that clearly that 4 and 10 is cut off it's on the opposite side of my cutting plane there so with 4 and 10 cut off, we leave that part over there blank. So that's what that would look like as if it was cut on its own. And now we're going to go and do exactly the same thing, but now we're just going to do it on a different, a different shape, okay, on our middle or our smaller cylinder. So we're exactly the same process. If we take that first cutting point, which is right at the top here, we go take it down. And then from there, take it across. It's actually on this line over here. That point there, which I'm actually going to mark with an X now, so that we can see the difference between them. That's my first cutting point on that cylinder. And then there's a cutting point over here as well on that cylinder. If I take that across, there's the next one. Okay, same as what we had with the other one. And then if we go to, as we go down the line, Okay, going down the line over here, our next cutting point is going to be on here, on 9 and 5. And I've got to take that across through because that's where it hits into my inside cylinder in the top view. I've got to take that across and then line that up with where, it is, where it's coming from over there in my front view so that would be my next cutting point and then the same thing is going to happen down here also on the edge okay the edge over there and we're going to take that across and take that up okay and we'll find that we're going to have a cutting point which is going to be over there that's our next cutting point there okay so I've got to take them I'm taking the complete wrong point there that's this point over here not that one let's just take that out there okay so it's that that little X that X marks the spot not that one okay now we're going to do the same thing again the next one's on that center line over there and as it hits into that center, that's over here on the edge of my circle. So I'm going to take that across and up, and I'm going to get that to join up with the edge. That's my next cutting point. And then I've got exactly the same thing on this side over here. Okay, that's that one. And then for the next cutting point, if I keep falling down, keep falling down onto this point over here, which is also on that circle. And I bring that across, so I bring it down first, there's the, the point of it there, and it's in line with this other one that I had. So there's going to be another cutting point there, and it's going to happen exactly the same on the other side if you follow those marks. 
Okay, across to there. And then the last one, of course, is over there. Okay, it cuts into the secondary pipe, the secondary pipe of your inside circle over there. And I'm going to take that straight across over here. Okay, and that of course is on the very edge of my of my inside pipe. So that's on this center line, and that's going to be a point right over there. Okay, now again the same thing we're going, you would use your French curve to go and join each of what are now my crosses. You're going to join each of those up. As accurately as possible. So you'd use a French curve. And you get a shape that looks like that. Okay, so now you've cut both of them separately. Now the space between the two cutting planes that you've drawn in. That space there, that's the space that you're going to hatch because that's the space that was solid. This inside part over here is the hole. So we're only going to hatch on the side over here and again try and make sure that you can get through that hatching as fast as possible especially when it's a, a thin piece like this that you've got to hatch. Do try and get it neat but don't spend too much time doing it but it's all got to be hatched as equally as possible and all at a 45 degree angle to make sure that you clearly indicate that cutting plane Okay, almost there, got a long line there. Okay, and there you have your full sectional nephew. In a separate video, we'll have a look at how to draw the true shape of that cutting plane.